When I got this project, I was like, okay, how do I link them like to something that I would really read and like relate to, like liquid forging. So I took the word liquid and I was like, okay, what kind of liquids do I use in sculpture? And I was like, well, cement, plaster, resin, hot adhesive. And I was just like, well, take those terms and then what could I forge? And so I was trying to find online stuff that liquid forging actually forged out. And I came across heat sinks and I was like, well, these really look like corals and like sea creatures. And I was like, why don't I try to forge this? So liquid forging process is a high pressurized solidification process whereby we are converting uh, from a liquid to a solid. We melt the material, after that we ship it and form it a solid. With the use of liquid forging, a lot of uh, scrap will sell as scrap or unused. All this scrap can be recycled, melted, and to form a final part. After she formed the part, right, the art piece actually is, is really like a lot of branches and very similar to our hissing fins. So I never know that our hissing can inspire to many other things. <laughs> it's really not that different. It's just that society goes, you can only, you either do this one or you do that one. And if you excel in one of them, that means the other one's a little bit different. The uh, approach to the problem perhaps uh, are quite similar. You have to find out exactly how the problem come about and then try to have a deeper understanding of the problem. It's actually just really inventing things to help our society move forward. And all day, I think both art and science are trying to create things for, for the usefulness in our life, right? And that's basically science. Same with art. The core foundation is to move society forward.